For this video, guys, I went out and bought all the most often recommended toys by Doberman owners with my own money, simply just to put them to the test and to find out which ones are absolute must-haves for Dobermans and which ones are all hype. Did I go a little bit crazy? Yeah, okay, maybe I did. But I did it so that you don't have to waste your money on toys that just simply don't work for Dobermans. So, let's jump straight into it. We're about to test out each of these toys for one month with my Dorman Arlo, who, trust me, is excellent at running toys through their paces. And at the very end of this video, I'm gonna pick out five toys that I would buy for Arlo again. If I could only buy five toys, no more, no less, which five of these I would pick to keep them happy. You're gonna see what each of these toys look like both before and after one month of use. And I'm also gonna rate each one on a scale of one to 10 based on how well the toy held up, uh, how well it held my Doberman's interest, and just an overall rating on the toy as a whole. So let's fast forward one month and see which of these toys are actually worth the money. Real quick guys, just for full disclosure, if you buy any of these toys from the links in the description down below, I may get a small commission for referring you at absolutely no cost to you. In fact, a lot of times I go out of my way to find where you can get these for the cheapest price, but that'll be down in the description down below. I just want you to know uh, that and be fully aware of that before we move forward. Okay, a month has gone by and Arlo has really run these toys through their paces. So let's throw all these toys up on your screen in no particular order. And yep, we definitely have a lot of toys here, so we're gonna be moving kind of quick through these and finding out which ones are worth your money and which aren't. So let's jump into the very first one, the Jolly Ball. The Jolly Ball is kind of a classic for Doberman owners. It's a durable toy. Uh, it could take punctures without deflating. It floats, so it's great for water play. And actually, it was originally made for horses. But this is it before Arlo had one month with it. And here it is after. Now, look at that. The uh, handle was chewed up like that in about seven days, which seems incredibly fast. These Jolly Balls usually last a long time. I think the issue was I had this indoors for him, and he was treating it more like a chew toy. If this was outdoors, like I've had Jolly Balls in the past, and so when they're outdoors and they use it as an activity toy, it lasts absolutely forever. So for durability, I'm gonna give it a three. Uh, well, I was gonna give it a three. I'm gonna give it two bonus points simply because uh, I've had these in the past and when they're outdoor activity toys and not treated as chew toys, that lasts a long time. So that gives it a five for durability. I'm gonna give it an eight for uh, interest level because he absolutely loved it. So overall, this is a solid six. I think this is still a really great toy for Dobermans. Next up is the Wobble Wag Giggle Toy. Now this thing is made of hard plastic. It is waterproof, but it won't float. Uh, and it, this one's glow in the dark, but they make different versions that are not. And as you turn it, it makes crazy weird noises as you turn it around so that it keeps hopefully the dog's interest. So this is it before one month. Now here it is after one month of use. This thing held up pretty well. It was really annoying. It's very, it's very loud, um, but it really also didn't really get his attention terribly well in the beginning. It took him like two weeks to even start to investigate it after I think he got used to some of the other toys. Um, but it uh, did hold up really well, even when he went to town on it. So I think overall, I'm gonna give this a uh, 10 on durability because this thing is strong and it can hold up a three on how well it held his interest. So overall, I'm gonna give it a rating of five for using this for a Doberman. Next up is a Go Nuts Max Pro Stick. Now this is really solid rubber. It's supposed to be some sort of aircraft rubber. It's very firm. Um, I know canine units have used these before as a reward when they're training their dogs as kind of the, the special reward that they pull out just when they've done something good. Um, it doesn't float and it's supposed to have a lifetime warranty through Go Nuts. Um, so if it gets destroyed, apparently you can get it replaced. Uh, but this is it before one month of use. And here it is after one month of use. You know, this held up really well. Um, he wasn't too into it though, at least in the beginning. It took him a little while to warm up to it. Um, so it definitely wasn't his go-to by any means, but it did hold up extremely well, even when he did go to town on it a few times. So overall, I'm gonna give this a nine on durability, a five on his interest level, since it took him a while to warm up. So I'm gonna give this a seven overall score on a scale of one to 10. Next up is a Westpaw Zogoflex Quizzle dog toy. That's a mouthful. Um, it's really hard rubber. It's dishwasher safe. It's a puzzle toy because you can put different treats inside of it. And this is it before one month of use. And here it is after one month of use. Really, 
Arlo didn't do much to this thing at all. It held up incredibly well. And uh, his interest level definitely depended on whether or not there was a treat inside. But with a treat inside, uh, he just went crazy for it. And even without a treat, he was still somewhat interested in it. Um, so that was really nice to see. Uh, this thing, I'm going to give this an 8 on durability because it held up very well. No signs really that it's failing anytime soon. An 8 on interest level. And actually, so overall, I'm giving it at 8. This is a solid choice for Arlo. He, he really loved it. Next up is the Playology Chew Stick. Now, this thing is supposed to have scents built into the rubber, kind of like a, like a scratch and sniff when you're a kid. It's got some scents built into it. This one's got a cheddar cheese scent, um, and it's supposed to be incredibly durable and engaging because of that scent. Now, this is it before one month, and here it is after one month of use. It did okay. After about three days, though, this um, squeaker at the end came out. It's still in there, but it, but it broke loose. It definitely showing some signs of wear and tear. It's not, you know, ultra durable where it's going to last forever, but he did also really like it. It was engaging for him. So for durability, not super impressed, but it's pretty good. I'm going to give it a five. Uh, for interest level, a nine, because this was one of, definitely one of Arlo's go-tos for a while there. And uh, overall, I'm giving this a seven. Uh, he did like this. This was a solid choice. Next up is the Bojaffa Ball. And this thing, you're supposed to be able to load it up with uh, kibble pieces and different treats and things in there. Um, the design of it is supposed to also clean tartar off the teeth, which is really nice. And it can double as just a normal ball for playing catch or any other activities. So this is how it looked before one month of use. And here it is after one month of use. Uh, now, he actually really liked this, especially when I put little pieces of kibble inside of it. Um, I had to take this one away right near the end of the month. It lasted just about 30 days before I had to take it away. Um, but he was very interested in it with, toys, with uh, kibble in it being used as a puzzle toy. He was also interested in it just as a ball, too. I'm a little disappointed with the durability of it because it looks pretty stout, and I thought it would last a little longer than a month. So for my ratings, I'm giving it a 5 on durability, an 8 on interest level because he liked it with and without treats in it, and overall score about a 6. Next up is this big thing, the Jolly Egg. Uh, this thing floats on water. They're supposed to be able to nudge it and move it around. It's a great interactive toy. Um, and this is how great it looked uh, before one month, and here it is after one month. It actually held up really well. There's very little done to this thing uh, from Arlo. It was almost a little frustrating looking to him at first when it was bouncing around and rolling around. I mean, it's definitely more of an outdoor toy, I think, for sure. And uh, so if you want a good, durable one that's outdoors, this could work. The interest wasn't held super well. Now as for ratings, I'm giving this a 10 on durability because this thing is incredibly strong. A 3 for interest level because it really struggled to hold Arlo's interest. So overall, this one gets a score of 5. Next up is a Starmark bob -a lot toy. Now this thing can hold up to three cups of food. You just put a kibble right inside there, close the a lid on it, and you can adjust the flow rate, how much it comes out of there. So you can actually feed your dog a whole meal if you wanted to slowly with this puzzle toy. It's weighted in the bottom so it always stays upright and they nudge it around and slowly get their food out of it. So this is it before one month of use. And here it is after one month of use. It held up fairly well. You can tell though that the cap is gonna be the weak part because that's where you get his mouth on there and really do some damage. Um, it didn't hold his interest as well as some other puzzle toys. Uh, probably because just normal kibble was in there, nothing special, and some of the other ones usually you put treats in there. But overall, I'm giving this a 7 on durability because you can tell the cap is going to be an issue at some point, but hasn't been yet. I'm giving it an 8 on how well it held his interest uh, because it does have his food in there, and so overall score will be a 7 for this one. Next up is the Kong Wubba toy, which is supposed to be a Kong toy uh, wrapped in some extremely durable uh, ballistic fabrics of some kind, and this is it before the one month of use. And here it is after one month of use. As you can see, he chewed through this thing. I had to take this away in just three days. And that is not even a real Kong ball inside of there. I thought, you know, at least, hey, if he destroyed the fabric, I'd have a Kong out of it. But that's not the case at all. I don't know what it is. It almost looks like some sort of tennis ball inside. Um, I was very disappointed with the durability of this thing, but he loved it as long as it lasted, even though it was only three days. So as far as a score goes, I'm giving this a two on durability. Honestly, it's pretty pitiful, only lasting a couple days. An eight on interest level because he absolutely loved it, but because it's burned up so quickly, I'm only giving it a four overall. Next up is the Jolly Ball Teaser Ball. It's got a ball inside of a ball, basically. Um, when your dog tries to get at it, that's kind of what keeps them engaged. You can even spread peanut butter on the ball, keep them really active, and it's supposed to float as well. So this is it before one month of use. 
And here it is after one month of use. It held up really well. Um, it didn't really hold his attention terribly well. It was almost more of a curiosity when he did check it out. So overall, I'm giving this an eight on durability because it held up really well. Um, a four on interest level since it, he was just kind of curious if, if anything. And I'm gonna give it a six for an overall score. Next up is the Chuck It Ball 3.5 inch. This is the extra large one. Um, these are just a classic go-to for doorman owners. They're great replacement uh, balls for tennis balls. They're a lot more durable. They float. Um, it's just, and they make launchers for them too, so you can throw them really far. But this is it before one month. And here it is after one month. This thing looks almost brand new. It looks totally fine. Uh, you know, these things last extremely well, much better than tennis balls. There's not gonna be a skin that your dog's gonna chew off of it like it is with tennis balls. I have seen them dry out in the past and crack and break, but this one is fine after one month. So overall, I'm gonna give this an eight on durability, a seven on how well it held his interest. So overall score, I'm giving this a seven. I think it's a great toy, just a good activity uh, go-to for your dog. Next up is a Starmark Gel Chew Toy. It's kind of a puzzle toy. You can put anything you want in there and as your dog chews it, um, pieces may come out and it keeps them uh, engaged with it. It's kind of a hard rubber gel type puzzle toy. Uh, here it is before one month of use. And here it is after one month of use. It did really well, a few little scrapes on it, but nothing bad. Uh, Arlo loved it when there was treats inside of it, of course, uh, but he actually also really loved chewing on this too when there was no treats in it, which I was really surprised. So overall, I'm gonna give it a seven for durability with how well it held up, a seven for interest, and that makes kind of an overall score of a seven, real solid choice. Next up is a Firebiters Durable Squeaker Toy. Uh, I think this review probably goes for most uh, fire hose material toys. It has durable double uh, stitch seams. Uh, it's made of that fire hose material that so many toys are made out of and it's supposed to be incredibly durable. So this is it before one month of use. And here it is after one month of use. You know, I don't know what they're thinking about these blue uh, little tabs that come off of it. Um, this thing, it was taken away from Arlo at day 24, uh, and it's how you, it looks now. But, you know, it's because there's such low interest. That's why it lasted so long. Really, when he actually started working on it for the first time was close to day 24, so it lasted very little time. So I think overall, durability-wise, I was very disappointed. I'm gonna give it a three uh, interest maybe a four, because he did kind of like it a little bit once he started working at it in day 24. And so overall score, a three, not gonna last very long at all. Next up is the Kong Extreme Ball. This is a classic go-to for owners and trainers alike. You can fill it with something like a puzzle toy. They can drop it and it just bounces random ways. It's dishwasher safe. You could even, I like putting peanut butter in there. You can freeze it, put make it a frozen treat. Maybe something you pull out just when you leave the house to get their anxiety down. This is just a classic go-to. And this is it before one month of use. And here it is after one month of use. Yeah, this one's the extra large version. It's got really thick rubber in there. Very durable, more so than some other Kongs that I've seen. Uh, he just, Arlo loves it. You fill it with anything, he'll love it. Even if you have it just as is with nothing in it, he'll still like it and play with it. So it's just a good overall go-to. Has a million training uses too. So overall, I'm giving it a nine on durability, a seven on interest level because he liked it with or without treats inside. The overall score, an eight. This Kong is a great choice. Next up is the Nyla Bone Power Chew Peanut Butter Flavored Bone. It has these little nubs on there, it's supposed to massage the gums. It helps with uh, tartar buildup uh, and uh, it's really durable nylon material. This is it when Arlo first got it in the beginning of the month. And here it is after one month of use. It actually held up pretty well considering how much he went to it. This was kind of a go-to for Arlo. Um, so, you know, I, I loved it. I think it was a great different texture for him from some of the other stuff. I'm gonna give it a nine on durability, held up great. Seven on interest level. So overall score, this one gets an eight. This was an awesome one uh, for uh, my Doberman. Next up is the Westpaw Zogoflex Tux. Now this is a hard rubber type material. It's kind of a puzzle toy. You can put treats inside of it if you want, throw it, it bounces all types of crazy directions. Um, but here it is before one month of use. And here it is after one month of use. As you can see, there are definitely some stress cracks on there. Um, and it was, you know, getting close to getting uh, pretty well destroyed. And actually the amount of interest he had in it was fairly low. So I'm a little disappointed that it's even showing that with how little he chewed at it. Um, and, you know, 
part of it was me. I didn't fill it with treats quite often enough to keep his interest in it, um, but he, it just wasn't his favorite toy. So overall durability, I'm giving it a seven. Um, and I think even that's a little bit generous, honestly. Interest level, a four. And so the overall score, I'm giving it a uh, five. Next up is a Van Fine squeaky toy. This thing has beef flavored infused in it. It's got two squeakers on both sides of it. It's a nice firm rubber material. And here it is before one month of use. And here it is after one month of use. Arlo loved this thing. It really held his attention incredibly well. Um, I took it away on day 25, and that's when he's starting to break apart these little nubs. Um, so, you know, it didn't quite last a month, but I, you know, I could see using this for sure as like a special toy that you pull out when he does something really well, or just when you're leaving the house, um, or that kind of thing to keep his anxiety down. It, it, it's an incredibly loud squeaker though. I disabled these squeakers pretty early on just myself because they were so loud, it was hurting my head. Um, but overall, I'm actually really impressed with this toy. Durability for how well he was interested in it was pretty good. So I'm giving this an eight for durability, an eight for interest level. So overall, this is a solid eight toy on a scale of one to 10. Next up is the JW Pet Holy Roller. Now this thing is a classic puzzle toy. You can put anything inside of it. You can put a small bone in there. You can put treats in there another ball in there, anything you can squeeze in there. You can even have two Dobermans wrestling over it if you want, playing some tug of war with it. Um, and this is it before one month of use. And here it is after one month of use. As you see, I had to take it away because he's starting to chew apart these cross braces. It didn't last very well. Um, and you know, he did enjoy it a little bit though. Uh, but day 14, I took it away. So it lasted about two weeks. So overall, I'm giving this a three on durability. I was definitely disappointed because you know, it wasn't until he started getting interested in it that he actually chewed that apart and he did it pretty quick once he got into it. Interest level, a five. So overall, I'm giving this a four. I would definitely hold off on purchasing this one. Next up is the Jolly Pet Holy Roller X. Now this is X for extreme because it's extra durable. It's a basically a thick version of the previous toy. And here it is after the one month of use. Now we're talking, this one held together the full 30 days just fine. Um, it really looks great to me. Um, what was kind of the weakness of the previous Holy Roller is the strength of this one. And so for durability, I'm giving this an eight. This one held up great. Um, it few nicks and punctures, but nothing bad. Uh, for interest level, I'm giving it a six. He's a little more interested in this one because I got to put different things in there um, and it actually held up. And uh, so overall score, it's getting a seven. Next up is the Outward Hounds Invincible plush snake toy. Now invincible, that kind of sets the bar high, doesn't it? Um, this is a, uh, basically it's a plush toy with multiple squeakers. Each segment is a separate squeaker. Um, it's got reinforced seams and no stuffing to swallow to hopefully make it a little bit safer for your dog. Now this is it before one month of use. And here it is after one month of use. And uh, by one month, I kind of just mean seven days because I took it away from it day seven. Um, it got this hole in there and it was starting to get a little dicey. Um, now I will say though, that this was his highest interest toy. He was really into this thing. Um, it's kind of loud and annoying, but um, he was really into it. Uh, so durability wise though, it was a little bit depressing. So I'm gonna give this overall a four on durability a 10 on interest level because he was just ecstatic about this thing from the get-go. So overall rating, I'm giving it a six. And I think that's even a little tad generous. Um, you know, this might be a great reward toy to give when you're training them, like maybe not to jump on you when you come through the door. You know, you only pull it out during select times and then you take it away um, just because it's high interest level and low durability. So which five toys would I recommend if I could only pick five of these to keep my dog happy and healthy? These are the five on your screen that I would go with. You kind of got your bases covered. You got the uh, Jolly Ball, which I think is a great one for outdoors, something to kind of just keep in the backyard. Uh, you got your uh, Zogoflex Quizzle Dog toy, which is just a great puzzle toy that lasts really well. A Kong toy, which is kind of just a Swiss army knife of, of dog toys. The Chuck It Ball, really important to have a good ball that's uh, high quality and will last to keep your Doberman healthy. And the Nyla Bone Power Chewer, which is just a great different texture to have. It'll last a long time. It'll keep the gums massage and the tartar off the teeth and the plaque off the teeth. Um, the only thing I'd add to this list is if you could throw in 
a uh, plush toy, something stuffed, like a stuffed animal. Something that you, you got to watch them though, make sure they don't tear it apart and swallow it. But if you have these toys plus something cheap and plush that you replace often, then I think you kind of got your bases covered. Now, as you can see from this list, I'm a little biased towards toys that last a long time. I think durability is really important, especially when you have a strong chewer like a Doberman. Just a reminder guys, links to where you can purchase each of these toys will be in the description down below this video. And if you're watching this video on DobermanPlanet.com, my website, you can also scroll down below and there'll also be links there to where you can buy each of these toys. Um, you know, there's a lot of toys to cover today here, guys. Um, I know that, but I wanted to make sure you had all the most popular options for Dobermans specifically. And that way you could pick out which ones were the best for you. If I went a little too fast for you today, don't worry. There's definitely going to be more toy videos coming out that are going to be a lot more in-depth on a few of these toys, so you'll see them again. Just make sure you're subscribed down below and you've clicked the bell icon next to it. That way you get notified and you won't miss those videos when they become available. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please take care. Keep being great Doberman Breed Ambassadors, and why don't you just go off and have some fun with your dog now, would you? See you next time.